These are number 70 to 61 on my top 100 films of all time list, currently, so far. Paul Thomas Anderson's There Will Be Blood, from 2007, starring Daniel Day-Lewis, uh, focused on the oil industry, in the early 20th century, America. It's uh, really uh, captivating with its cinematography, storytelling, and of course acting. Great acting from uh, Daniel Day-Lewis and Paul Dano. So uh, yeah, check it out. Awesome uh, Milan from 1994, uh, part of the Disney Renaissance era. Uh, great uh, animated film, very nostalgic for me. I love the, uh, the majority of the songs. It's a great character, so. Michael Gondry's Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, starring Kate Winslet and Jim Carrey from 2004. It's probably my favorite uh, romance film. It's dramatic. It's very uh, kind of surreal. I forgot. I, I forgot the term, but it's uh, it makes the viewer think uh, about the idea of love, and it's oh cerebral. It's very cerebral. So uh, yeah, Sasha Baron Cohen's uh, Borat from. Uh, 2006. It's a uh, very uh, fun, it's hum very, it's a great humorous film. Um, I think it's inventive in a lot of comedic ways and like kind of also making a mockumentary of itself. So um, yeah, <laughs> where we get a lot of superhero films these days. Uh, Megamind is still a refreshing one to me uh, from a villain's point of view. It's very comedic. I like the voice acting like the action in it, um, and all, really like probably the story is the best thing. Um, and you know, some people like the memes of it. So uh, yeah, it's from 2010, yeah, DreamWorks. Daniel's Everything Everywhere All At Once from 2022. It's very recent, one of the best um, action, drama, sci-fi, romance films of the past year, of the past couple of years. It's a new classic, I think, of the 2020s, or probably like once we're in the next decade, we'll look back and like, hey, that's probably one of the best films of last the last decade. Uh, very heartfelt and uh, creative. So, yeah. The great Robin Williams in Chris Columbus's um, Mrs. Doubtfire from 1993. Uh, great uh, personal story. And um, I, I really like the... Uh, I am, I'm very nostalgic for it, so... Uh, that's the main reason I like it. But uh, Robin Williams, great comedian, great film. Coppola's Godfather Part Two from 1974. Uh, great sequel uh, to the original Godfather. A lot of people say it's better than the first one, although I really, really love it. Um, it's I, I find the first one a bit better, but uh, still great. A great parallel, a great use of parallel storytelling with... Uh, young dot with you know, yeah, the father, the younger version of the father, and the uh, Al Pacino. So, Michael Corleone, there we go. <laughs> John Carpenter's uh, Halloween from 1974 with Jamie Lee Curtis is a probably my favorite slasher horror film. Um, one of my favorite horror films, probably, in, yeah, not, not my favorite horror film, not my favorite horror film, but my you know, one of my favorites. Um, great suspenseful um, film. Yeah, Parasite from 2019 is a great recent film uh, about social, economic uh, issues, class, um, and overall just like like manipulation of the system uh, and family. It's 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 uh, Bong Joon Ho really knows how to uh, turn turn the uh, viewer to think about other things in the film and like about, you know, real life issues. So that's why I liked about Parasite. 